Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Jackass Retro, my name is Matt. And today, we are going to take a look at a uh, recent ephemera buy I did just a few days ago, uh, last Friday. It is the second half of uh, a buy that I set up about three weeks ago. You can actually go check out the first video um, that shows the first half of the items that I picked up. Uh, link will be in the description. Uh, I'm going to break up the second half into a few different videos over the next few days. There's just so much stuff and it would be an hour plus to kind of get through all of it. I've looked through some of this stuff, but I haven't really taken a deep dive into it. So for the most part, you guys are seeing this as I am. Um, so let's go take a look. All right, so here we go. This is everything. We've got three boxes of postcards. I'm guessing probably roughly around, you know, maybe 1,500, 2,000, somewhere in that neighborhood. So not bad at all in terms of quantity-wise. Uh, here we have some interesting ephemera items. And we'll start kind of digging out ephemera. And, you know, there's a lot of odds and ends here. So some of the stuff is pretty interesting. I'm just going to start grabbing some items and we'll take a look. Okay, so here is the first bin. I kind of just grabbed a, a bit the bin, filled it up, and uh, let's take a look. So first, I've got, I just see this peeking out here. So let's take a look. Nice. Nice Niagara Falls scenic trip. It's like an advertising brochure. Yeah, this kind of stuff. Travel, travel ephemera. Really popular. The older, the better. This is this kind of stuff I love. Nice PT Boaters sticker. I don't think it's that old, but it is definitely cool. like a concert program for Ballet Russe. See if we can find a date on it. Can't, I don't see a date, but just based on the artwork here, I'm going to guess probably either 1930s, maybe 1940s. Probably somewhere in there. The only genuine Russian ballet. All right, place names in Colorado. Now this kind of stuff I do really well with. These are sort of like uh, touristy, um, you know, souvenir. There we go, 1954. Souvenir booklets. I've sold these things so many times. Colorado is a good place to sell them from. It was a bit definitely popular tourist def destination. And we've got, you know, basically the names in Colorado and how these names came up with. Kind of neat thing just to, to flip through and learn about, you know, some etymology of, you know, various places and where they came from. Pretty neat. Got a Hawaii National Park brochure. This anything National Park brochures. This stuff easy sell. Uh oh. Let's be careful. Let's get this guy out of the way. Looks like we got. I'm gonna guess uh, firearms marketing. Yep. Certainly that's what it is. Browning rifles. Probably from the uh, 50s, maybe 60s. Yeah, look at that. These colorized sort of, sort of colorized hand colored photographs. They look like art, but they're actually from or based on a photograph. And then they sort of hand color these in. It was before, before they really had, you know, color photography processing. Let's see if we get a date. Oh, this one's actually a little bit older. This is uh, 1973. I think just maybe made to look a little more classic. 
Nice item. Got a framed photograph. What do we got here? Casper, Wyoming. Compliments of A.E. Chandler. America's Finest Filling Station. So cool. You've got a few different things on this one. It's a nice framed photograph. You've got the oil and gas tie-in. Casper, Wyoming. That's just a neat, good-looking photograph. That may go on my wall till it sells. All right, what do we got here? A whole bunch of stereoscopic views. Now these things, you can find these at garage sales and estate sales. If you're willing to sort of grind them out, some of them can be very, very valuable as single cards. It's all based on content and rarity, just like anything else. We've got, looks like a saloon scene. Very cool. The publishers on these will often mean everything. So, this is supply and distributing houses. This is a universal photo art company. All right, so you always want to pay attention to that. Nice saloon scene. That kind of content does well. Everybody likes stuff with bars. Here's another one. Same, same Motley crew. We've got Summit of uh, Alaska Chilihut Pets in Alaska. This could be from an Alaska expedition. It could be, I mean, there's any number of things. I'd have to do some research on it, but we can take a look at the date on that. Neat, neat stuff. South Dakota looks like day in sport. They got a bunch of dead animals in front of them. This is the California Midwinter Exposition. Now, I know about this exposition, and only because I sort of stumbled on it. Um, it was, I sold a spoon for this, a souvenir uh, copper spoon, even. And uh, there's actually a, a lot of items out there, and it's got a very good collector's market for it. Um, so I expect this one to do pretty well. It's a nice picture too. I bet it would look very cool through a stereoscope. Now if you don't know what the stereoscopes are, uh, you might know what a viewfinder is. You know, the, the old little plastic kids toys where you put a disc in and it, it looks in 3D. Well, these are the, the precursors to that. And they had these things around as late as like the 1860s, 1870s. There are these big Herkin wood things where you put the card in at the end, you look through a little viewer, and it uh, uses the slight differentiation between these angles to create a 3D image. It's really more of an optical illusion, but... Nice infantry boys uh, in the Philippine Islands. So some of these war ones can do pretty well. Here's another one. I think this is the uh, Spanish-American War, if I'm not mistaken. Another in the Philippines Island, Army Hospital. Some guys playing cards. The Butcher, the Baker, the Quiet Little Quaker. Battleship scene, Manila Bay. This guy's in front of the White House, feeding some ducks. Kind of a interesting sort of humor-based one, I think. This one says Palestine. Another Palestine. Also Palestine. I wish I had a, uh, a stereoscope viewer right now because I bet these would look, some of these would just look really cool through it. 
this is the looks like it says deep sea Seattle just uh, you know definitely stuff that's in uh, related to ships in the Puget Sound has a good collector's market on its own and then these window decals I mean there's a, one there's a window decals market and then there's collectors for stadiums so and also of course there's you know anyone who collects a sports team that plays in that stadium so these these window decals I've done pretty well with Bloom Brothers is a known brand so very happy with that let's get another handful Got a photograph here. What do we say here? Superphonic hearing aid. Oh, there's some scientists. Looks like they're with that. We got some signage over here. Superphonic hearing aid. That's kind of cool. Got a photograph of a cool old boat. Sort of yacht y excursion boat. Oh yeah, these cool, these country store images I've done always very well with. So we got that one, and then, not sure if it's the same store, but it looks like it could be. Look how serious. So serious. We got these signs here. I mean... Pretty cool. Here's a little Texaco gasoline economy calculator. This kind of stuff it always does great. These little cardboard cardboard things. Uh, here's a postcard. This shouldn't be in here, but uh, Temple Beth Israel in Portland, Oregon. Real photo postcard. We'll put that with his brothers. Another sort of tourist thing, the uh, Shasta Daylight train. I mean, train stuff, pretty much no-brainer. If you find old train stuff, it's probably worth listing. Just a rule of thumb. Trees of Mystery. Nice, another little travel brochure. for the redwood, yeah. Redwood forest stuff always does very well. Oh, now that is neat. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's going on there? Is that Bing Crosby in blackface? Well... Yeah, we'll have to... I don't know what I can do with this one. If I, I don't know if I can list that. I know I can send that to, though. I've got... I donate most of... Most things like that to a museum. Olympia Beer, an old 70s sticker. Very cool. Local, local beer company. Oh, I got a few postcards in here. Residential looks like an advertising real photo postcard. We've got a uh, creepy old man, Uncle Tom Marshall. Huh. Look how unhappy this guy is to have this young lady in his lap. It's like, is it over yet? Cute little kid. Real photo postcard. Oh, look, it's Scientology 1.0. Holy cats. That's. This is a great photograph. Why is this a great photograph? Well, look at everything we got going on. We first of all, 
cool old cars. We've got the train blowing smoke in the background. Like, two different eras of cars, too. Like, that's... We've got some, you know... 20s-ish ones and then some 30s-ish ones. Like three different eras of transportation in one photograph. That is neat. And then even a little bit older one. This guy and his dog. Oh, yeah. We got Coca-Cola signs and Dr. Pepper signs. Like, look at all... How many Coca-Cola... There is... This This is a Coca-Cola co collector's wet dream kind of photograph. Look how many instances we've got. One, two, three, four, five, and the Dr. Pepper. Our first restaurant we bought in 1939. Farm machinery. You can even see who it is. Claremont, Iowa. This is a die cut, die cut and mechanical valentine. I got a whole bunch of these. These are can labels, unused. Oh yeah, breakfast in Hollywood. I know what this is. This is a studio, t this is a ticket to a studio recording in 1947. And it's a postcard. Oh man, that's so neat. Here's a bunch more of those labels. The Wide Awake Club at the Seattle Post. So that, this newspaper no longer exists. Wide Awake Club. I'll have to do a little research on what this Wide Awake Club is. This is, looks like a postcard, but this is actually a arcade card or a mutoscope card. These were sort of like early vending machine items. So, a uh, lot of risque content. I'd like to see myself waiting up all night for you like that. Oh, look at that. Alright. We're going to do the rest of this little pile here. And then we're going to call it for today. But we'll do the rest of this one uh, maybe tomorrow. Turn yourself to beat. Now these are cabinet card photographs. I've done very well with these. Um, condition isn't always everything on these, like so. This obviously got some issues. There is usually a location on the back, but or we have a name, which is great. 1873. Mustaches and beards always do good. This is uh, New York, Columbia Art Portrait Studio. It's always nice when we can attribute the location. Fortunately, we don't get a name of the subject on this one. This is also New York, Malone, New York. Got a date, 1888. Check out this guy. This guy looks like a, one of those reseller cats. There we go. 
studio photography. Unfortunately, we don't get a name. Too bad. Just a nice photograph. Two dead game sports. Oh, I see what they did there. So there was one of these similar to this in the last batch. And these are like actually applied. In this case, it's metal. Uh, on the last one, they were um, plastic. But yeah, this is like a sort of like a 3D gift card. Old animated silhouettes. Yeah. Pretty cool. What do we have here? Oh, this is a, another cabinet card. Uh, instead of a photograph, this is you would put this in your cabinet and in loving remembrance of somebody who did. In this case, this person. Nice little die cut uh, vintage Valentine. This this will fold out. You can you know it's. Uh, unfolds and will give a full 3D dress. I'm doing this one hand, so I can't really do that right now for you. Another cool old car photograph. What's going on here? Is that Leonardo DiCaprio? Old man. Yeah, if we, usually if you can identify the kind of car, you can makes it easier to sell it. I'm on a couple of Facebook pages where there's people who can help with that. Looks like a pineapple field or maybe just a palm, palm field. You got some people swimming. Could be anywhere. No information on that one. Same deal. Oh, cute. All right, this looks like it could be a, nope, it's just a best wishes sort of old greeting card. And then a, looks like a sort of, like, Oh yeah, they would give these these kind of things out to people just as... Oh, it's a business card. I got it. Yeah, S.S. Bateman, custodian. Well, this is the business card of one of the keepers of the Latter-day Saint, Day Saints Tabernacle. So I bet we could do some research on this guy, find out some more information on him. I, this, I mean, it looks like his business card, which is kind of cool. Or maybe they just he just handed this out to everybody. We'll have to find that out. And finally, I saw this when I was there. This is just rad. All right, well that's the end of our, our big pile here. And that is gonna be it for today. So we're gonna pick up you know what, right where we left off here tomorrow. I'm going to set this stuff aside. We'll just keep going through this bin. And then when we get to the next box of postcards or whatever, we get to it. Uh, so if it's your first time here, you like this kind of content, let me know down in the comments or hit the like button. If it's your first time here, please consider subscribing. And uh, you know what, we'll catch you on the next one. Catch you on the Cliffy Floppy. Take care. Bye.